Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Undertale, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we fought Undyne. We killed her. Well, no, we didn't kill her. What am I talking about? We're doing the pacifist run as best as uh, that we can. We're not actually going to get a full pacifist run, of course, because we killed uh, Toriel, but um, oh well. I think there's, I think I've read that there is an ending if you spare as many people as possible, or at least don't kill everyone. Anyways, in the last episode, we ran past this sign, and uh, I said that we ran past it too fast. I, I wasn't able to see what it actually said. And it says, Welcome to Hot Land. Yes. So this place is called Hot Land. And who would have thought, right? Okay, so Sans was here, but he's not here anymore. We crossed this bridge, which is pretty much where Undyne gave up. It was too hot. Um, was that thing there before? I don't think that thing was there before. It looks like a giant clam man. Uh, we gave Undyne some water with this. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes, you take a cup of water. And we have it in our hands. I thought I might put it in our inventory. Guess not. Get rid of the water? Yeah, you pour the water on the ground next to the water cooler. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? No. Okay. Small puddle forming. Oh, I wonder if we could make this puddle bigger and bigger. Let's try one more time. I'm not sure what the point of this would be, but uh, I just want to see anyways. Okay. Maybe if you keep doing that, the puddle gets bigger and bigger and something happens? I don't know. Anyways, let's talk to this weird being. Okay, KKK. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. But you were at Waterfall. Okay. Uh, let's just try giving him a cup of water. I don't think that's going to do anything. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Yes, you got me. That's That was my intention. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. Wonderful. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. This is a laboratory? Laboratory entrance. Okay. We have two obsidian guards up there. That's what I'm going to call them because they look like they're made out of obsidian. There's the entrance to the lab. Yeah, that is a strange place for a, for a you know stereotypical white lab okay what do we have down here ooh is this like the river sticks and this is Sharon tra la la I am the river man or am I the river woman it doesn't really matter I love to ride in my boat would you care to join me ride in the boat uh not just yet my friend then perhaps another time or perhaps not it doesn't really matter yeah we'll hold off on that just for a second because I think uh, to progress the story we need to go into the lab but let's talk to these gentlemen here Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. And this guy doesn't talk much. Oh, he said something. What? Okay, let's save the game once more. And, nope, not three times. Okay, three times. Let's go down here. How's it going? Yep. Yep, yep, let's do it. Where will we go today? Snowden or Waterfall? I knew there would be fast travel in this game. Okay, so this is the fast travel system. Um, Usually, if I was doing a normal playthrough of this off-camera, I would go back just to see if anything has changed. But for the sake of the let's play... Oh, crap, we can't even exit out of this. I guess we have to go somewhere. Oh, wow, that's terrible. We can't press B to, like, go back. So it's either Snowden or Waterfall. Let's go to Snowden, I guess. Then we're off. Okay, there better be a way to go back. There has to be, but Sharon wasn't at the uh, at Snowden before. But maybe he's taking us to a dock or something. I'm having a little concert with one audience member. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. I knew there was there was there had to be a reason for this little perch here. Come again sometime. Don't you leave. Okay, Hotland. Well, but we just came from the other way. And now we're continuing down this river. How does this work? I wonder if this was intentional. This isn't This isn't the first time that this has happened, right? Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, we never actually found Tammy Village, did we? I'm not too sure. Because I remember before it was saying something about a secret village. Come again sometime. But we did find Temi. We fought her. One of the weirder fights in this game. Okay. Into the lab. Little spotlight around us. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. This is like the first technology we've seen so far, right? 
It's you? Assuming we can't go up this. Nope. Trash can? It's too dark to see near the... What? It's too dark to see near the walls. Alright. It's too dark to see near the walls. I guess these are all going to say the same thing. Yep. Yep. Looks like a giant bag of kibble. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy, Anne. Um. Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. We've heard that word, or we've heard that name Alphys before, right? I think Undyne mentioned him? But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but. Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or die. Yep, or you die. Oh, okay, we're just jumping right into it, I guess. Metaton attacks. Uh, Mercy's not gonna work, obviously. Let's see. Check or cry. Check or cry? What about the quiz show? Well, um, we only have fight or cry, I guess, so let's try crying. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Money, mercy, new car, more questions. Let's go with new quest- more questions. Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Okay, I guess we'll just keep crying then. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? That is going to be Asgore Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, I assume metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Oh, okay, I just noticed, um... Alphys on the right there, I think he's motioning with his hands the correct answer. Like, he made a B with his hands, I think. I think I just noticed that. Alright, the quiz show continues. We'll see if that was right right now. Here's another easy one for you. Oh my god, two trains, train A and train B simultaneously depart station A and station B, station A. Okay, you can see on the right there he's making a D with his hands, so let's go with D. Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. The quiz show continues. Okay, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh, I'm gonna say 54. Correct, you're so lucky today. It's not luck, my friend. How does Alphys know that, anyways? The quiz show continues, alright? Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, I know that one. That's gonna be Froggit. Boy, that- What? 
Okay, well, Alphys was motioning, I think, a D, but that was Froggit, wasn't it? Alright, I guess we'll just stick with whatever Alphys says from now on. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, he's not giving me up. Oh, they're all heck yeah. This is Overseer all over again. Uh, okay. Maybe we just got lucky there. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? I'm going to say C. Of course that was easy for you. But show continues. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only, only, only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite. Oh, it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping out our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer, too. Who does Alphys have a crush on? Um... The human. Seriously? My, my, how conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer. Wait, I've seen her watch you on her computer screen. Okay, so we're a girl. We finally verified it. It only took 11 episodes. Smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, no, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. Alright, we've regained control of our character. Wait, wait! Kinda looks like Lisa from The Simpsons a little bit. Let me give you my f phone number. Th then ma maybe if you need help, I could... Oh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. We're getting a phone upgrade? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee 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 hee. Hee hee. Hey. I'm going to the bathroom. Alright, now we can interact with all this stuff, I assume. Still can't go up this thing, but that's okay. Uh, I assume this says the same thing. Nope, it's a video feed of your location. Wonderful. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Yeah, that is a cute garbage can, isn't it? It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. What? Oh, it's... Wait. Yeah, it's accessing. Not assessing. Accessing. Okay, weird. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... This game? It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Weird. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Yeah, you get the instant noodles. Wonderful. What I've always wanted. It's half empty bag of dog food. Okay, I assume we want to go through there. Uh, but let's see. This is the bathroom, right? Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. It's a bathroom sign. We can go up there, but we'll hold off for a second. Nope, we want to go back to the lab. All right, let's see if we can go through this uh, giant hole in the wall. Or maybe not. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Okay, well, let's see what's upstairs. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history, read one. You look inside the book, it's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons, they are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Is this the thing out of the Teletubbies? Okay. Hold on, for a second my timer just got messed up. Hopefully it kept my place. Oh god, no. Okay, it did. Never mind. We're all good. We're all good. 
Looks like Alpha's work table seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Wonderful. And finally, it's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Okay, well I think that's about it with the lab, right? We've pretty much interacted with everything. Alphys is going to stay in the bathroom, I assume. So, I guess we'll just move on. Alphys updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undying Fight the Human. And I think that was an emoticon. Let's look at our new cell phone, see if we can do anything with it. Dimensional box A and dimensional box B? Oh, that's awesome. Wow, we actually can mess with the... Wait. Why can't I activate them anymore? Oh, I can't. It just moved them up here. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, I was gonna call Papyrus, but I think we'll just keep moving on. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna, yeah, I figured it's just gonna keep doing that. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Okay. You gonna guide me? Alright, so we can't go up this one, right? Nope. Vulcan strolls in. Looks like a little volcano. Let's see. Criticize, hug, encourage. Let's encourage him. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. It atta its attacks become extreme. Does my best. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, what do we got here? Alright. Easy enough. Vulcan parades around you proudly. Um. Okay, that was easy. 40 gold. Not bad. Up we go. Zoom. Okay, that just leads back down. Alpha's updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. Okay, let's see. We can only go up the right one. This looked like a puzzle, but I guess it's not. Okay, so far, this is super incredibly easy. Okay, let's see. We got a couple minutes left, but here's a save point. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. Magma chamber. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, LMAO. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm assuming if we jump on that, it's going to send us to the other one. Sundare plane gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. So we've already seen a Sundare cactus. This one's a plane. Alright, um, let's see. Flirt, approach. We want to flirt, right? You tell Sundare plane it has an impressive wingspan. Huh? Y you sicko! Okay. We actually looked up uh, the definition the last time we saw that word. Okay, Sundare plane looks over, then it tur then turns up its nose. Um, can we mercy it now? Nope. Let's flirt with it again. Oh, no, let's approach it. Yeah. You get close to Sundare Plane, but not too close. E, human. Okay. This attack's pretty easy. I'm making the mistake of saying it's easy, but it is easy. Sundare Plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Um, mercy? Come on, what do we have to do? Approach it again? But not too close. Nope, same thing. Yeah, we could probably just stay completely still. Nope, I was wrong. But still easy. Well, then what in the world are we supposed to do? If we can't mercy, we've already done the other two options. I guess we have to flirt with it again. You tell us Dare Plane it has impressive. Oh, we already did that. Um, oh, I know what we have to do. I just realized. I just realized. Yeah. I forgot temporarily. Anytime something is green, we need to touch it. So, we need to go like this. Yep. And this. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Sundare plane looks over, then turns up its nose. Guess we have to do that again. Okay, maybe we have to get all of them? Shit, I already missed one. Okay, there we go. So you just have to touch them a certain amount of times. And goodbye. You are in 0 XP and 60 gold. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we are going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll continue further on in the magma chamber. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.